Hi. Sometimes when you're using NetBeans, its very rich features are a bit too much. For example, you can see here that when I select a different word in the Java editor, all the matching instances are highlighted, which is very convenient because now I can press Control F3 and I can jump from this instance to the next instance, to the next instance, and to the next instance. So you can jump around from the one to the next, which can be very convenient, but it can also be quite noisy. So did you know that you can switch the highlighting off? In particular, as you can see here in this dark look and feel, the highlighting is a bit of a glare, and it would be nice to simply say, no, we don't want this. We want whenever we select a word, all the matching items to not be highlighted, and even the currently selected word should also not be highlighted. The way to do that is to go to the Options window, so I'll press Alt T and then O, and I'm in the Options window, and you can see there's a highlighting tab. So normally when you open the Options window, you open it and you find yourself in the General tab. Um, you should go to the Editor tab, and within the Editor tab, you'll normally first be in the General tab, but as you can see, there's also the highlighting tab. And in there, depending on your language, so this could be PHP or HTML5, but I have here the Java-only editor, you can see that uh, we can select our language, and then we can specify. First of all, let's specify that keep mark should be switched off. Okay, so that already will make a difference. So we click OK, which means that now when we click out of it, you can see that the highlighting disappears. So the highlighting is still there, but when you click out and nothing is selected, then the highlighting disappears. You can go even further and specify which specific element should the highlighting be applicable to. So types, methods, whatever. So let's, in this case, specify that there should be no highlighting at all, which is very nice and very quiet. And now when we select something, it is not highlighted and all matching items are not highlighted either. As you can see, it's a much quieter experience. The cursor tells me enough information. It tells me where I am. I don't necessarily need to know all the matching items, so they are not highlighted anymore. That's it. A nice and easy tip, especially if you're using the dark look and feels and the dark editor to make a quieter coding experience.